Okay, in this sesh, I want to look at classic nine mark questions. Over the course of your two papers, you're going to likely answer four nine markers in total. Two in paper one, two in paper two. Here are what I think are the classic questions you'll see in paper one in red and paper two in purple. Let's go through them. So classic question number one, legal structures. It will be a brand new business and it will be turning from a sole trader to a private limited company and it might be recommend whether they should do it or not, so especially the pros and cons. Or it could come from the other angle where it's an established business already and it's a private limited company and the question is recommend whether they should become a public limited company or not, pros and cons. Check out all those videos already there. Number two, stock management question and it will be about just in time and it will be should they use just in time see the pros and the cons video there number three will be an off the job versus on the job training so recommend if they should do off or on the job training again pros or cons now they're the classic paper one questions i see albeit this legal structures question could theoretically pop into paper two because it's in that unit one and unit one can come in either paper but I suspect it will be in paper one. Number four, so looking at paper two, pricing methods is a real, you've got to learn this, really likely it will come up. Pricing methods, you're thinking price skimming, price penetration, competitive pricing, loss leader pricing or cost plus pricing and it will be recommend which is the best pricing strategy for this business depending on the context or the case study. And for that, you will choose one of them, and the best way to answer is choose one and then talk about the cost of the business, the market structure the business exists in. So you're thinking, is it a competitive market? Is it an oligopoly or is it a monopoly? Whichever one. And then looking at the competition. What are the competition doing that exists in that market? And then also where on the product life cycle is your product because that could make a difference. Number five is extension strategies. So it will be a question, recommend the extension strategies this business should use. Where you could go with that, you could think about new packaging the firm could do, new features they could add to whatever their product or service is, the new target markets that aim at a new demographic, for example, uh, advertising, a different type of advertising they could do or a different place. Um, and potentially they could reduce the price that they currently charge. Number six, marketing mix evolution. What I mean by this is it will be a question where maybe they've got some sort of setup, so their product price promotion place, they're using it quite evenly. Maybe they need to focus on one more than the other three now. Maybe they need to now focus on price, for example, and it will be about you recommending how the business should move with their marketing mix combination. Number seven, sources of finance. A source of finance, it could be which source of finance makes sense for the business in this situation. Should they potentially go the debt route or should they go the equity route if they are, for example, a public limited company, which makes sense to them. Related closely to that, that you can see in the finance topic, so paper two, is cash flow solution. So recommend the best cash flow solution to this business. And then for that, you could be thinking about rescheduling your payments, perhaps sources of finance. So if it's a cash flow problem, very likely an overdraft would be obvious source of finance they could use, but they could also use other ones. For example, they could sell their fixed assets. They could sell their cars, their buildings, for example, if they own them, and then try and lease them in the case of cars. Um, and also just the basics. So for cash flow solutions, you want to increase your inflows and you want to reduce your outflows, as simple as that. Number nine, break-even analysis. So break-even analysis, you want to be looking at whether a firm should use break-even analysis or not. Is there a point to using it? Um, so you basically look at the pros and cons of break-even analysis. Um, but actually one angle that you go down is break-even analysis suits probably just one product. So how many products do they sell? How many does it say, say in the case study? Um, remember, these are nine markers. You're going to answer four of these over the two papers. So make sure you know all of these inside out. Check out my videos. They're all covered. Good luck.